His Majesty's Government view with favour the establishment in Palestine of a national home for the Jewish people and will use their best endeavours to facilitate the achievement of this object, it being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of existing non-Jewish communities in Palestine or the rights and political status enjoyed by Jews in any other country. November 2nd, 1917. On that day, 104 years ago, Arthur Balfour, Britain's then Foreign Secretary, sent a letter to Lionel Walter Rothschild, who was a figurehead of the Jewish community in Britain, declaring support for the establishment of a national home for their Jewish people in Palestine. After World War I, before the British Mandate for Palestine, Jews made up 3% of the total population. By 1947, after the Mandate facilitated Jewish immigration to Palestine, the Jewish community had increased to 33%. The Balfour Declaration is considered a main catalyst for the events that led to the Nakba in 1948, when Palestinians were ethnically cleansed by the Zionist armed gangs who were previously trained by British troops to fight alongside them in World War II. During the Nakba, over 750 Palestinians were forcibly expelled from their own homeland. The Balfour Declaration was intentionally written with vague terms so that it was left open to interpretation, and the word state was intentionally left out because of opposition to the Zionist programme within the British cabinet. After many documents were declassified in the United Kingdom, scholars were able to obtain several drafts of the declaration before it was published in its final form that consisted of one sentence of 67 words. According to Zionist scholars, the declaration's objectives were conveyed to the Zionist drafting team by Weizmann in a letter on June 20th, 1917, which is one day after his meeting with Balfour and Rothschild. He proposed that the British government's declaration should state its conviction, its desire or its intention to support Zionist aims for the creation of a Jewish national home in Palestine. Earlier drafts of the document used the phrase the reconstitution of Palestine as a Jewish state, but that was later changed. The addition of it being clearly understood that nothing shall be done which may prejudice the civil and religious rights of non-existing communities in Palestine or the rights and political status enjoyed by Jews in any other country in the final versions of the declaration showed that non-Jewish communities who were the majority of residents in Palestine were merely regarded as an afterthought. This document was so incredibly controversial for many reasons, one being that this pledge promised Jews a land where there was already a majority of natives who made up more than 90% of the population. And in the words of the late Palestinian academic Edward Said, the declaration was made by a European power about a non-European territory in a flat disregard of both the presence and wishes of the native majority resident in that territory.